choir recitals. I'm also known as the thinker of the group. But I can't stop thinking about one thing. His hands. Rough and weathered, yet so loving and gentle. His hands reached out and touched a leper, and the disease was erased from his body. His hands reached out and touched Peter's mother-in-law, and her fever disappeared. His hands reached out. And lifted Jairus' daughter from her deathbed. His hands have opened the eyes of the blind and mended the bones of the lame. Countless. Informi infirmities, deformities, and illnesses. Gone. His hands reached out. Blessing little children when others would have turned them away. His hands reached down, rescuing Peter from a churning sea that surely would have swallowed him. His hands blessing and breaking the bread and folding the prayer. Such simple gestures and yet so profound. His hands have shown mercy and kindness, given love and healing. His hands have served me, Thaddeus, and his other brothers, and praised the Lord, his Father. Those are the hands of God in this very room. All of us have received blessings from his hands. All of us have seen the miracles his hands have performed. So who could betray him into the hands of the enemy? Will I, Thaddeus, betray you?